for the project this month, I am going to be using some glitter paper. And I need to talk to you about saving your blade when it comes to glitter paper. The paper I'm using for my project that's glitter is the Red Wagon Miri No Mess Glitter Paper, the Shamrock Sequent Glitter Paper by Encore, and then the Evergreen Miri Sparkle No Mess Glitter Paper. Now, whenever I'm cutting glitter paper, I make sure to use an old blade. So, when your blade is starting to get kind of dull, it's important to save one back, not necessarily throw it away, but mark it so that you know that this is the blade that you use for projects with glitter paper or texture cards. So the way that you're going to cut this is you're going to you cut it on the back side. So you're going to flip this over and cut it so that you're cutting through the paper instead of through the sequence. Okay, so in for my project, I'm going to cut this four and a half by three and a half. So I'll get three card panels for this. And since this glitter or sequins is a little bit thicker, I'm gonna go through and cut twice. I prefer my rotary blade trimmer for projects like this because I know I'm going to get a clean cut every time. I feel like blades that have the triangle tip could ruin your cardstock by dragging. Like these kind of blades. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of that for this type of project. I really like my rotary, which is a circle essentially and it goes around in a circle when you cut and that is how you get a clean cut with your cardstock glitter paper every time and you save your blade which allows you to use a different blade for actual cardstock and still get clean cuts make sure to like comment and subscribe to the 12 by 12 cardstock shop for more paper crafting tutorials and have a wonderful day